Some of the Cape's brightest students were honored for their excellence at the 2018 Cape Cod Times Rising Stars Awards Banquet Wednesday night. 90 students were recommended by family, friends, and school officials, and judges chose 20 to be Rising Stars. Rising Stars has been around, we were actually trying to figure out exactly how long it's been around, and we came up with at least 25 years. Um, it's been around a long, a long time, and the idea uh, is, is and has been and, and continues to be very simple, uh, to highlight the many and diverse achievements of high school seniors on the Cape and the islands. Before the winners were announced, motivational entertainer James Arrigo spoke and performed. He specializes in boosting spirits of seriously ill children around the country with funny music and animation they create together. If there's a flood, I'll be prepared. Got my boat shoes, I'm not scared. We can dance by the sea, have romance you and me. Oh baby, oh baby. But every time I try to hold you in my arms, my boat shoes beep beep, they play these alarms. They're accomplished some incredible things in life and you guys are just getting started there's so much more to, to come and like all this stuff started for me when I was in high school and, and I just was driven to find ways to use my talents and time and, and life to make a positive impact and I just challenge you to do the same no matter what career field you end up in just always find ways to be good the rising stars competition showcases the best and the brightest of each senior class of the Cape and the islands you're sitting in this room because you are indeed exceptional and we are very happy to celebrate all of you. Sierra Abbott, Falmouth High School. Sierra may seem soft-spoken and deferential, but she is a powerhouse of inner strength. Coming home from hospitalization following a serious mental health incident, she took to social media to tell her story and shine a light on something that affects one in five people. Back at Falmouth High School, Sierra felt there were no resources to support kids like herself, so she started Hope, Hold On, Pain Ends as a means for students with mental health difficulty to come together and learn coping skills for conditions ranging from anxiety to eating disorders to post-traumatic stress disorder. Sierra Abbott, 2018 Rising Star. Congratulations, thank you so much. Nathan Amaker, Monomoy Regional High School. A series of concussions took Nathan off the playing fields of his favorite sports, basketball, baseball, and football, but they couldn't take him out of the games. He became a coach and a mentor for his teammates. Then, he faced another major life-changing event when his sister died of multiple sclerosis. But like with sports, Nathan turned adversity into success using his sister's memory as a driving force in school. He plans to study criminal justice and enroll in the ROTC program. Nathan Amaker, 2018, Rising Star. Congratulations, thank you. Aiden Biondi, Nauset Regional High School. A talented chef, sailor, musician, and future scientist, Aiden has his sights set on becoming a molecular biology researcher and is looking to apply his work to a passion he has had since he was a boy, space exploration. He is currently working on a research project that looks at ways of altering genes to better withstand radiation, something that could have applications for astronauts and ca cancer patients. While he prepares to leave for Brown in the fall, his work could be heading to the International Space Station for experimentation. Aiden Biondi, 2018 Rising Star. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Caroline Brote, Barnstable High School. Caroline has been in the news for her leadership of the dynastic 
Barnstable High girls volleyball team, but it is another passion of hers that caught our judge's attention. Caroline sees photography as a portal to preserving time. Her sister Olivia died from cancer last spring at age 20. It was a profound loss for Caroline, who wrote about and photographed her sister through her illness. Our judges said her writing is brave and beautiful, and her photography captures moments perfectly. She has started her own photography business and has done everything from student portraits to photograph photographing wildebeest in Kenya. Caroline Brote, 2018 Rising Star. Good to see you again. Yeah. Brianna Cheatham, Mashpee High School. A classically trained dancer and winner of the 2018 Massachusetts School Superintendent's Academic Excellence Award, Brianna recently completed her senior project, a dance performance she choreographed that included students from the Riverview, Riverview School in Sandwich. The routine was a way to showcase adaptive dance and Brianna's teachers said it highlighted her devotion to dance and the patience and love she has for her students. Brianna Cheatham, 2018, rising star. Congratulations. Congratulations. Kendall Currents, Falmouth Academy. A standout basketball player and active member of the Wampadog Nation, Kendall has not let multiple surgeries associated with holes in her heart and other medical conditions slow her down. She is active in keeping the Wampanoag culture understood through dance and song and appeared on 60 Minutes as part of the Wampanoag Reclamation Project. Kendall earned a basketball scholarship and plans to study medicine while in college. Kendall Currents, 2018, rising star. Congratulations, thank you. David Girardin, Sturgis Charter Public School East. I can already tell he's a musician by the shoes. <laughs> to hear David talk about music is to get a crash course in music history, theory, and variety. He plays jazz with local musician Bart Wiseman, but he also sings with the Sturgis Singers and the school's Half Step Down a cappella group. His first band played classic rock covers, but he has also arranged songs for the clarinet choir and has written the music for three plays at Sturgis. His mind thinks in music, his guidance counselor told us. David Girardin, 2018 Rising Star. Congratulations. Congratulations. Sophie Gibson, Sturgis Public Charter School East. Although her academic and extracurricular activities could take her life in many directions, perhaps even to her first career goal to become President of the United States, Sophie has set her sights on becoming a human rights lawyer specializing in Native American rights. It is a field she has wanted to pursue after several service trips to the Rosebud Indian Reservation in South Dakota. She is now completing a bilingual international baccalaureate diploma at Sturgis and will be a Jefferson Scholar at UVA in the fall, studying politics, economics, and philosophy. Sophie Gibson, 2018, rising star. So happy to do this. Congratulations, yeah. Celia Crafter, Mashpee High School. When graduation day arrives June 2nd, Celia will be the valedictorian, and at 17 and a half, she'll also be the youngest graduate. An accomplished dancer, musician, and actor, Celia has been appearing on Cape stages since the age of 10, when she appeared in Katuit Center for the Arts' performance of It's a Wonderful Life. Celia has, <laughs> Celia has a passion for human rights and has led the Gay Straight Alliance at Mashpee High School. She hopes to blend interests and become an actor and human rights in, a, 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 advocate. Celia Crafter, 2018, Rising Star. Congratulations. Thank you. Jordan Leander, Barnstable High School. Jordan was two and a half when he was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma, 
a rare bone cancer that left him in a leg brace facing months of chemo treatments. Today, he is a cancer survivor and now battles the disease on behalf of others, participating in the Jimmy Fun Telethon, walking in the Relay for Life, fishing in the Joe Cronin Tournament, and playing in the Steve Buckley Old Time Baseball Game. In many ways, he's been the face of the Jimmy Fun, singing the national anthem 10 times at Fenway Park, including a memorable moment at age four when he was featured in the movie Fever Pitch. Jordan Leander, 2018, Rising Star. Fiona McAfee, Upper Cape Regional Technical School. Fiona taught herself American Sign Language at age 12. She was taking college courses with adults at age 16. She will graduate in June with both a high school diploma and 38 college credits under her belt. Fiona is the president of Future Farmers of America's local chapter and has worked to maintain the Upper Capes campus for the past three summers. This fall, she will be heading to RIT to study English and ASL, something that has intrigued her since watching a TV char character who was signing. Fiona McPhee, uh, McAfee, 2018 Rising Star. Congratulations. Ray Jean McFarlane, Mashpee High School. Ray Jean was recently selected to read a letter from Senator Elizabeth Warren at Falmouth's March for Our Lives event. It was the latest of her community service activities where she has blended a love for art and a caring for the community, and she is looking forward to raise her voice on the national level. Through her work with the Key Club, she has made blankets for hospitalized children and lunches for the homeless. Despite working two part-time jobs, attending school, volunteering, and pursuing her art, Ray Jean is an excellent student who plans to pursue media communications and hospitality in the fall. Ray Jean McFarlane, 2018 Rising Star. Congratulations. Will Moser, Greenfield Commonwealth Virtual School. Will has been an actor since childhood and already boasts an impressive resume of performing in more than 30 theater, film, and voiceover productions. Maintaining a rigorous performance schedule while attending high school can be a bit of a balancing act, so Will transferred from Barnstable High School to the Greenfield Virtual Commonwealth School, a Massachusetts public school that allows students to take classes through a technology similar to Skype. He's also taking acting classes at Cape Cod Community College. Will is headed to the University of Hartford's renowned Hart School for the Performing Arts in the fall. Will Moser, 2018 Rising Star. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Bailey Nance, Upper Cape Regional Technical School. <laughs> Bailey developed an interest in environmental science in sixth grade following in her older sister Ariana's footsteps. She decided to attend Upper Cape after finding it had an environmental science con concentration and has competed in Skills USA and state science fairs along with interning at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. She recently developed a sustainability plan for the school using solar panels, green roofs, and constructed wetlands for a more eco-friendly campus. Bailey Nance, 2018 Rising Star. Congratulations. Harsh Patel, Dennis Yarmouth Regional High School. As a first-generation American of Indian descent, Harsh used to shy away from Indian customs to be part of American culture and avoid being an outsider among his peers. But out of respect for his parents' sacrifices, hardworking small business owners who had immigrated to the United States, he learned to embrace both cultures and in the process has broken down cultural barriers as he's become a well-rounded, resourceful, and friendly young man with several career paths from which to choose, with interests ranging from medicine to biology to engineering. He's got them all covered. <laughs> Harsh Patel, 2018 Rising Star. Congratulations, thank you. Alexander Smith, Dennis Yarmouth Regional High School. <laughs> Dennis, 
Alex might be a math whiz. He earned a perfect score on his AP calculus exam, and he's delved, in, delved into theoretical physics and electrical engineering. But he's also a gifted artist and track athlete. And as president of the Key Club, he is a regular volunteer at the local food pantry and recently organized a book drive to gather honors and AP level study materials for students who couldn't afford them. Alex Smith, 2018 Rising Star. <laughs> Great. Congratulations. Emma Thatcher, Monomoy Regional High School. <laughs> Emma, the captain of the Monomoy Sharks varsity softball team, has a positive attitude that allows her to dominate in sports and academics alike. She was elected, to the student she was elected as the student council secretary all four years of high school. She also participates in the Best Buddies Challenge, the Key Club, was a camp counselor and a peer mediator. Emma Thatcher, 2018 Rising Star. Congratulations. <laughs> Yvonne Vu, Falmouth High School. Yvonne is involved in a statewide leadership program, volunteers at church and local road races, runs a French club for elementary school students, and tutors. She's a member of five different honor societies, holds the first chair in the Honors Wind Ensemble, and is studio manager for the Falmouth High Morning News. Her busy schedule is not to check boxes for college, but born out of a genuine desire to help people. She's definitely one in a million, her advisor told us. Yvonne Vu, 2018 Rising Star. Congratulations, thank you. Lauren Walsh, Monomoy Regional High School. Lauren has an ambitious slate of academic and extracurricular activities that could take her in many directions including three high-level science courses, the National Honor Society, the Young Women's Club, and the Drama Club. But at this point in the, her career, her, her, at this point, her career goal seems pretty clear, to become a pediatric surgeon, a career path, she says, was influenced in no small way by her two brothers' struggles with Crohn's disease. Those who know her call her an all-around good citizen. Lauren Walsh, 2018 Rising Star. Congratulations, thank you. Charlotte Zender, Nosset Regional High School. For Charlotte, fun is the chance to encourage other young women at, young women at STEM fairs, take trips and dig deep into weird science things. She is a member of Nosset's Steminist Club, which encourages girls and young women to build careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. She has a diversity of experiences, both in and out of the classroom, and her enthusiasm is contagious. Charlotte Zender, 2018 Rising Star. Congratulations. 